what's up y'all um i'm about to pull some oracle cards for you and loki for myself as well i honestly been procrastinating this for like the past few days because i honestly don't do it on camera but something's been telling me that y'all need to hear something okay <laughs> honestly i feel like it's gonna have to do with something with our self-acceptance or creativity i don't know something trying to be born inside we need that push so um yeah let's see if this is gonna be a little reminder and it should be i love these decks um i'm using the work your light deck oracle deck by rebecca campbell and her starseed oracle okay pretty sure you guys can find this on amazon and also i found these randomly on amazon and i love them so much they're called the what is it called damn the angels of abundance <laughs> but yeah okay so i'm setting the intention that this message will meet whoever it needs to meet and i'm sure that it will get through to you and if it don't resonate with you it wasn't for you baby pretty simple y'all know that all right, so I already shuffled these off camera because nobody cares to see that for real. <laughs> well, maybe people do, but I mean, I wasn't. This ain't supposed to be a long video, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna shuffle these. So I'm gonna pull one from each deck, unless more than one comes out. But yeah, so let's see. Ooh. Oh my god, it already wants to cut off for real. Okay, we got one from that one. And I'm gonna show you guys after. That was the Star Seed Oracle. Now I'm doing the Work Your Light Oracle. What do they need to hear today? That's way too. That's way too much. <laughs> Let's trim it down a little bit. There we go. All right, that one got two. And then my angels abundance. Look at the back of this. It's just, it's so cute. It's so cute. And it matches my tat. I have a tattoo right there. It's like my favorite star. It represents faith to me. I just love that type of star. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, two. Sorry, this shuffling looked wild. And it's probably because I feel nervous when I'm on camera, but I don't know. We still gonna get the message. We still gonna get the message, okay? All right, so let's look at the first one. So the first one we got is wait. Wait. It says wait, it's not yet time. Things are being woven. Mm. Honestly, okay, that makes like I said, I low-key needed to hear this too because I've been feeling this rushing feeling lately and I'm always trying to slow myself down, but like, I've just been feeling this rushing feeling and I'm like, you don't need to rush. Basically, like, I mean, I've been feeling like you don't need to rush. You don't need to rush things. Like, yes, you can put have things in the works, but you don't need to rush it just to do it and then the quality's like ass. You know what I mean? Like, let's be a little bit more put together with it, okay? More, take the time to really make something good you know all right so two came out of the work your light oracle yep it says take a break a life's work not a season get off the treadmill yeah it's giving don't rush it baby don't rush it don't rush it and then it says answer the call what is your soul calling you to do okay so i feel like that has to do and that's the that's the energy i'm feeling too it's like there's things that I want to do and accomplish right now. And there's like little small projects I have in my mind and the works and like my brain just wants to like really, really, really get it done and over with. And it's just like, but relax. Like I've been feeling restless with it. And it's just like, it's not helping nothing. Like if you want to do something, be more strategized with it. You know what I mean? Like write it out. I've definitely been writing out stuff uh, more in my journal. So stuff can be more like organized instead of just like, jumping too quickly into something it's good to jump and take a risk but you know like you can't be jumping into stuff all the time and not really take the thought to like plan it out and like execute it right you know because it's all about the execution <sighs> Ooh, okay that's okay that's what i just said okay 
So these were the two that came out in the Angels of Abundance Oracle. So this and this is so pretty. And this is why I love this this Oracle deck because it's literally like just a bunch of angels. There's like a lot of like cherubs or is that the word? Like a lot of baby angels too in the deck. But um, okay, this one says, "Ask for your needs to be met." God and the angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped. And it begins with asking. It doesn't matter how you ask God for help, but only that you do so. The same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you. Okay. And I definitely feel like that can tie into the restless feeling as well. Because sometimes you want to do stuff so badly that like and you definitely have like i don't know it's like your ego definitely wants to do it all on your own too you know and it's just like no you can ask for help people are around you if you have people that really support you they can help you in certain ways that you might not even realize or just simply praying or asking for guidance asking for you know certain answers like stuff will start coming to you if you really start speaking out and asking about it okay like especially with the rushing stuff and when i'm writing down like plans and stuff for my projects it really does come to me when I actually like take time to pray or like take time to ask God or meditate on certain things it will either it will literally come to me that same day like probably like moments after I meditate or like throughout the week like my answers will be met and then I'll have new ideas to actually like propel me in my project you know what I mean um okay and this one literally says do the work do the work and that's literally what I was talking about like Yes, it's saying like to wait, take a break, but I feel like it's more so in the aspect of like, we don't want to rush things, okay? We don't want stuff to just be mediocre. We don't want to be sloppy. We don't want things to just be done just to be done. You know what I mean? Like a perfect example is just like how a lot of artists today, I love TikTok, slightly. <laughs> I love to, I'm just trying to be back on TikTok now because I know it can help with building yourself, you know? But you know, a lot of artists today, they make music just to get a fast win off of TikTok. Or, like, they just want it to be, like, a little cash guy. Like, they don't make real music anymore. A lot of the new artists do not. To me, personally, it might be a little bop or whatever. But, like, the the quality is down for the quantity to be up. Like, they just keep doing a whole bunch of a whole bunch of nothing. Really? You're giving me nothing. Yeah, we love that. Yeah. No, we don't. You know, and God is saying do the work baby okay it says it's not enough to dream or pray you've always wait what you also got to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden this is so pretty y'all can see the picture okay Whew. i feel like that was like so much to get out because bruh i really feel like this restless feeling of like certain things that i need to do when really it can be so simple like it's gonna play out you have time like time is not running out and if time do run out well damn like what could you really do it was out of your hands <laughs> like i don't know like if the world was really ending tomorrow like okay what can we do like <laughs> all you can do is just do what you can but what you got okay what did mariah carey say i'm just trying to do the best i can with what i got okay like literally so we had wait take a break answer the call okay do the work and ask for your needs to be met all right so however that resonated with you, even if I didn't say certain things that like maybe you thought of, maybe the cards just helped you realize something or the pictures, I don't know. And also these decks, this one does not come with the um, a guidebook, but the other two do come with a guidebook and they'll have like passages. I just didn't read them this time because I wanted this to be pretty quick. And honestly, the, the cards that came out were pretty straightforward. Sometimes you don't even got to go read what it say. You know what I mean? But like, definitely go buy those Oracle decks if you want to. They're on Amazon, I'm pretty sure. Or they have a website, I'm sure. I think it's called, what is it? Uh, Rebecca Tan... Wah. Rebecca Campbell dot me. www.rebeccacampbell.me. I don't know. But if you look up those Oracle decks, you should be able to find them. But anywho, love y'all. Stay creative, okay? Stay believing in yourself. And I'll see you next time.